Glory to God. Happy Mother's Day. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, I love you, Mom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for our blessed mothers that you have blessed us with. Hallelujah. What a glorious day. Amen. Happy Sunday. Praise God. I pray that you had a blessed week, as always. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my goodness. God is head over heels in love with you. And what a glorious, beautiful Sunday, Mother's Day. Hallelujah. And yes, we have a special service for our beloved mothers in glory and in worship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Holy Spirit has such a, a, just such a heartfelt, great worship service. I know that's a no-dust statement, but I'm always in awe as far as with what Holy Spirit is doing through us. Amen. Say it with me, church. Through me. Amen. Through me. Hallelujah. That's his anointing in Lord Jesus Christ. His name is Holy Spirit who lives in us for all of eternity. Hallelujah. So happy Mother's Day. Praise God. And we're just so excited to come together on this glorious Sunday morning. Oh, we're so excited as far as with what God has planned in this new season. Amen. We can't understand his plans, but glory to God, we can trust. Amen. We can trust in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We can trust in God's word. Hallelujah. So before we get started, there's a couple things that will come up on your screen that I just want to read out loud. And through the leading of Holy Spirit, he, he guided us to just type this out and just to bless our beloved mothers. Amen. So once again, happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. We love and appreciate you, Mom. Thank you for loving and caring for me. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you for persevering for me. And thank you for being the blessing. And we can't forget, sorry that I was such a pain. Amen. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Let's give all the moms a round of applause. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Our Father God is so sweet. Hallelujah. I know it's a no-dust statement. Agape, overflowing. Praise God. And what a special day for all our beloved moms. Praise God. Listen, if your mother is in heaven with the Lord, hallelujah. Rejoice. Praise God. Mom is in perfection, hallelujah, and glory to God, because here you are in worship unto Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you right now, it doesn't get gooder, than, gooder and gooder than that, amen, that you were blessed with an anointed mother, hallelujah. For those of you who didn't know your mom, amen, this message, hallelujah, is for, say it with me, church, everybody, praise God. For those of you who didn't know your mom, or maybe, or maybe it was a different case or a different situation, Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, hallelujah, God says that he has blessed you with a beloved mother, amen, with a beloved mother, whether it's an auntie, amen, right, whether it's a grandma, hallelujah, we got a lot of mamas, right, raising children right now, hallelujah, or maybe you don't have a child, right, maybe you don't have a child yet, praise God, you're believing God for a child, hallelujah, I could hear it, it's on its way, amen. And maybe, and maybe you have a child in heaven. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Remember, rejoice. Praise God. Because God sees your heart as a beloved mother. Amen. Amen. And we don't, we don't limit God. Hallelujah. So rejoice that your beloved child is in heaven with our heavenly father. We're going to be there real soon. Amen. That trumpet is about to go off. Hallelujah. And you could see it. Amen. Rejoice, praise God, we're going to be reunited with all of our loved ones in Jesus' name, amen. So I pray that this message blesses everybody, amen. Say it with me, everybody, and especially our beloved mothers, amen. So once again, mom, happy, happy, happy Mother's Day, hallelujah. Um, mom, Deb, happy Mother's Day. Mama Kay, praise God. Oh, praise God, see how good, it's gooder and gooder. The Lord just blesses us with an abundance, amen, of beloved Daughters, beloved mothers that want to be able to be a blessing unto the children. Amen. The children of God. Hallelujah. And we're, we're just so in awe of God's presence overflowing. Hallelujah. I could barely, whoo, I could barely keep it together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Hallelujah. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Amen. And don't forget the angels. Give the angels a high five. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Pray for me as we get into this worship service. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this glorious Mother's Day that you have blessed us with, Father. And in this worship service, in every worship service, Father, that you have divinely orchestrated through your anointing that only comes through your blood, through Christ our Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We bless you, Holy Spirit, in lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and just blessing you, Holy Spirit, and allowing you to be our God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, teach us. You're our only teacher. And Father, as you speak the word, I thank you, Father, that you rebuke me, you rebuke Joey, you rebuke my pride, Father God, that I just be a mouthpiece for you, Father. And Father, all the glory, all the honor, all the praise is yours, Lord Jesus Christ, so that our Father is glorified and that, Holy Spirit, you are blessed in the Holy of Holies. So, Father, thank you once again for blessing us with our beloved mothers, Father. Thank you so much, Father, for blessing all the moms, Father God. Bless them with a fresh anointing from heaven, Father, that your presence overflows in their hearts, in their minds, and over their houses, for we are your house and one body in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless them, Father God, beyond what we can comprehend or understand. We thank you so much, Father God, for all of your beloved daughters. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So let's get right into this. Praise God. Praise God. Let's just get right into this. Hallelujah. The power of a mother's word. Amen. That is the title Holy Spirit give us for this worship service this morning. Amen. On this glorious Mother's Day morning. Amen. Say it with me. The power of a mother's word. Amen. And this simply is going to echo throughout the whole worship service in what Holy Spirit has orchestrated and how God will teach us. Amen. And what he will teach us and reveal to us through, hallelujah, agape. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our God. What he will reveal through us is his anointing through the power of of his word amen and of course the way Holy Spirit wants to bless all his beloved daughters all the mothers on this glorious Mother's Day is the power of a mother's word amen so we'll be in Luke 1 verse 38 Luke 1 verse 38 if you recall the angel Gabriel was speaking to God's beloved daughter amen God was speaking to her and it finally come to the point through her relationship with God. Hallelujah. In just trusting. Say that word with me. Trusting. Hallelujah. In just trusting that we serve a good and perfect Father. He is God Almighty. Amen. And I love this because it echoes throughout eternity. And it's always in a beloved child of God. Are you a beloved child of God? Hallelujah. Amen. I am a beloved child of God. And this is what's so beautiful about being a beloved child of God. Listen to what Mary said. I am the Lord's servant. Hallelujah. See, at this moment, we just have to pause real quick. Because the beauty of the written word is not only alive on the pages. Above all, it's alive in you. Hallelujah. It's alive in me. Amen. And that is who Holy Spirit is. He's the advocate. He's the comforter. Amen. He will charge you with God's word. Hallelujah. He don't speak on his own. He speaks what agape says. Say it with me. Agape. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And what takes place in this relationship that you have with God is that you know that I have to stay focused on your word. Hallelujah. On your word. Say that with me. On God's word. Hallelujah. And I love this picture because here Mary is just making this affirmation, just confessing, I am the Lord's servant. Amen. See, there was in, in every beloved child of God who has received Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, we all share that moment. Amen. When we called upon Lord Jesus Christ to save us, to heal us, help, right? Help, Father, help. Amen. Remember, Daddy right? We all share that moment in eternity when we called upon God, save us, 
help. Lord, right? Lord Jesus Christ, he's the only way. Amen? Listen, beloved church family, there's some soul out there that needs to hear this. It's only through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Only through Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what I love so much about this in Luke 138. Let's continue on. Mary says to the angel unto God, may your word to me be fulfilled. In other translations, be unto me according to thy word. Amen? Be unto me according to thy word. Remember that glorious day when we received Lord Jesus Christ. What took place? I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Be unto me, right? According to thy word. Amen? It's that same principle with the heart and the faith behind it. Confessing to God Almighty, I am your servant. Be unto me according to thy word. Hallelujah. And we know what took place. The angel left her. And I love this picture that you'll see on, my, you'll see on your screen. Praise God. But you could just see the glory of Holy Spirit shine upon her. Amen. It's the same glory. Say it with me. Same glory as when Lord Jesus Christ come out of the water being baptized in Holy Spirit. Amen. It's that same glory. Say it with me. Same glory of the glory that the Apostle Paul, when he was Saul of Tarsus, experienced on the road to Damascus. Right? That same glory. Amen. Hallelujah. We have all as a child of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, rejoice, praise God, help me now, right? As a child of God, we have all experienced that glory, hallelujah. And when we get really down to the nitty gritty of, of what glory is, it's God our Father, good and perfect, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, loves me. Can you say that with me? Loves me. Amen? That he loves me. Glory to God. And this is the same glory in what took place in this moment on beloved Mary. Praise God. And I love it because we're going to echo this once again throughout this worship service because Holy Spirit said so. Amen? And I pray in Jesus' name that as we worship and celebrate Mother's Day, hallelujah, remember, your, your mother may be with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Glory to God. God knows you, miss her. Amen. God knows you, miss her. But the bottom line is this is all temporary here. We have eternity together. Amen. Praise God. Holy Spirit said I could share this. I moved out of my mom's house when I was 17 years old. I moved out. And never been back. But my mom knows how much I love her. And my mom, especially my grandma, my grandma's with the Lord. But I will tell you, through all the, through all the horrible things I've done when I was young, they kept praying for me. And you know that's what your mommy did for you? And for those of you who are blessed to be moms, there's power in your words that you speak. Amen. May your word to me be fulfilled. Amen. And I love this picture. Glory to God. You just see Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus in the manger, right? You can just imagine as a mother what she went through, right? Raising God, raising agape. Whoo, hallelujah, right? Going through the town, people seeing her. They hear what took place with the angel. But then, of course, like, like this world that we live in, right? Haters, doubters, naysayers, right? Gossipers. Religious people, right? Just mean, ugly, nasty people. Did all that matter, though, to Mary? No. Why? Be unto me according to thy word. Amen? It's amazing when you 
when you worship God Almighty, and you know, and, and I love how, you know, you can just get so consumed in the written word of God, in the Holy Bible, amen? Right, you could just get into it and you're just having just such awesome fellowship with the Lord, and then you, you just get into worship, hallelujah, I know who I'm talking to, praise God, where you're just thanking God, and you're, you're, you know, Holy Spirit takes you back to a moment, you know, or, or, or you know, you, you hear Pastor John say, you hear me say it all the time, you know, you could read something one day, one way, one day, and the very next day, or the, that same day, it don't mean the same thing, and Holy Spirit, right, and you're just like, oh my goodness, hallelujah, right, thank you, Lord Jesus, praise God, and these are one of those moments where, you know, can you imagine, can you imagine raising up, Come on, moms. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Can you imagine being the mother of Lord Jesus Christ? Right? And in this picture, this picture is, is one of the best pictures I could pull of that moment where they were looking for Lord Jesus in the temple. Right? And in a, as you know what he was doing, what was he doing? Right? He was in his father's house teaching people about his father in heaven. Hallelujah. And this just goes to show you the anointing of a beloved mother. Amen? For a mother's encouraging words to speak over their child and say, listen, you don't listen to what people say. You're going to save the world. You're going to serve Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Whatever it is, amen, you're not going to wind up this way. Beloved moms, you got a child that's in rebellion right now or going down a season that you know is not of God. In the name of Jesus, you just speak that agape word. Hallelujah. Amen. You just say it in the name of Jesus. Father, this is your child. Be unto me according to thy word. Lord Jesus Christ, I plead your blood over my family. Amen. There is power in a mother's word. Amen. And I love this picture because... There Lord Jesus is, just, right, 12 years old, teaching. People just, right, in awe. Amen? Oh, hallelujah. And glory to God. Hallelujah. You could just see those family moments, right? You could just see those family moments. So we're going to change over, we're going to break away, but we're going to keep on going through Luke 1. But in John 2, this is where Holy Spirit wanted to close in our Mother's Day celebration, amen? In John chapter 2, on the third day, we need to pause there because, hallelujah, on the third day, Right there, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus that echoes through your spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me on the third day. Amen. We know ultimately, hallelujah, on the third day, he rose. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo! Rejoice. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Rejoice. He is no longer in the tomb. Amen. He's no longer in the pit of hell saving souls. He is risen. Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is risen, is glorified, amen? And listen to this, on the third day, a wedding took place at Cana. Now this is going back to the first miracle of Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in Galilee, and I love how the word of God just wants to remind us Jesus' mother was there, the mother Mary was there, amen? Don't you love how there's that point, Jesus' mother was there. See, this is this moment in the, word, in the written word of God, as you read the Bible, it's very, very important that we have to understand that other than seeing the words that are on the paper, there is not only the written word, but the spoken word of Lord Jesus Christ and the living word through Holy Spirit in us. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. And this is the power of God's word. Hallelujah. So here it is that we're just making sure, hallelujah, the reader knows, every soul, hallelujah, every soul who has eyes to see, ears to hear, knows 
Jesus' mother was there. Hallelujah. Say it with me, church. Happy Mother's Day. Praise God. If you're sitting by your mom or with your wife who is a mother, or, you know, just give them a kiss. Praise God. Say Happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Mwah. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day. Rejoice. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And Jesus, verse 2, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Praise God. But remember verse 1. Who was there? Jesus' mother. Amen. There's a reason why the written word lines it out like this. Praise God. When the wine was gone. Let's pause right here. When the wine was gone. We have to keep in mind that in a wedding, not only if you run out of wine. Oh, that's a curse. That puts a halt to the celebration. It's an insult. Man, may I just be clear with this? The extent of, oh, it's not just one of those things where, oh, we run out of wine. No, it's not, it's not that. It's emergency, right? Right? It's, you got to blow the whistle. Emergency. Say that with me. Emergency, right? Now, 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 granted, it's one of those things where I'm not trying to oversell anything. I'm just being obedient to the anointing. What Holy Spirit wants to make sure that we understand that at this very moment, it was pure chaos. There was no hope. Darkness. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit just said, say, darkness. Right? Because you got to think that everybody's celebrating, having a good time. Because remember, this is the, tra the tradition of a wedding. Right? And you have all these people that come from who knows where, and it lasts for days. But to run out of something, oh my goodness, you want to talk about a curse, it's an insult, it's death. It's, this ain't going to work. Right? And look what happens. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say it with me, happy Mother's Day. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Praise God. Jesus' mother Hallelujah. Here's Sister Mary. Woo! Sister Mary, right, discerns through her anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Discerns and says, hmm. Now let me ask you something. As a beloved daughter of God, amen? If you're a beloved daughter of God, raise your hand. Praise God. Amen? You are a beloved daughter of God. As a beloved daughter of God, you have a relationship with the Holy One. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have a relationship with Agape. The question is, do you not think that Mary knew the time is now? Huh? Well, let's continue. I don't want to jump ahead. Praise God. Listen to what Sister Mary said to Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is mom now, right? They have no more wine. And I love this picture because it just shows the relationship of a mother and a child. Amen? That moms have that look. <laughs> Hallelujah, can I get an amen? Right? Moms, you have that look, right? All you got to do is give that look. I can't even do it right. I pray that I, I do it justice. But, you know, I remember, I remember when I was little and even now, right? I even now, I could remember getting looked at, and I'm like, oh, you better line up, right? You better straighten up. And I love it because I could just see Mary looking in the eyes of Agape and just saying these simple words that they have no hope. Huh? Amen, church? Here's Mother Mary, right? Jesus is mommy. And looking in the eyes of Agape, our Savior, the perfect one, the holy one, amen? And looking at him in the eyes and saying, they have no hope. And that's what that means. They have no more wine, right? Which means there is no hope, no celebration, right? They need a Savior, right? Hallelujah. And it, Look at this beloved mother of Lord Jesus Christ, where she knew, she knew. This is setting up 
my beloved son to do the ultimate work. Amen? I love this picture. It's just moments like this. And granted, you may have your own picture in the Holy of Holies. You may have your own picture in your soul of the relationship that Mary had and has right now, hallelujah, for all of eternity, with Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And I love this picture because no matter what a child does, there's nothing like a mother's love. Amen? It is just the anointing from heaven that all beloved mothers carry. Hallelujah. And I love this part because religion made a mess of all this. And praise God, we have Holy Spirit who teaches us and we just make things clear. Amen. In order to what the anointing teaches. Hallelujah. And this is what's so sweet about Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 4, he says, Woman, why do you involve me? Now remember, this is never rebuke any disrespect. This is never any disrespect. This is like saying, ma'am, right? Ma'am, mom, right? But I love this because Lord Jesus is saying, mom, why are you, why are you involving me in all this? Isn't this so beautiful, hallelujah, about the power of a mother's word? Amen? Because listen, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, agape himself, knows what will take place. Hallelujah? Remember, every word, every step from our Lord Jesus Christ was divinely orchestrated by Father God himself, executed through the leading of Holy Spirit. Amen? The anointing of Holy Spirit. Say it with me. Hallelujah. Agape. Amen? Praise God. And I love this because here Lord Jesus Christ is saying, why are you involving me? Ma'am, mom, woman, why? And this is what he has to say. My hour has not come yet. Now glory to God. This is just a little snapshot of getting into the mind of Christ. That he is always, always, thinking good towards you, towards me. If you want proof, there it is in the written word of God. Hallelujah, verse 4. Praise God. His thoughts was, it's not my hour yet. My hour has not yet come. It's not time yet for me to go to the cross and save the world. But I'm going to do it, but it's not time yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because here, once again, in the look of a mother's eye. Hallelujah. In the look of a mother's eye. To feel the presence of a mother's look, the, the, to hear the power of a mother's word, and to, to, to receive it, and to go, I know what I have to do, mom. I know, but it's not time yet. And don't you love that, that our Lord Jesus Christ, even though it wasn't time yet, he's still thinking about, I have to save you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ said, I have to save Joey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says this to Mother Mary. Happy Mother's Day. He says it to Mary. He says, my hour has not yet come. So basically telling mom, not, not right now. I know that I have to, but not right now. Because remember, the thoughts of Lord Jesus Christ is higher than our thoughts. Amen. Amen. But we know that God's plan for Lord Jesus Christ is to be the holy, perfect sacrifice of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so he tells his beloved mother this. And this is what I love. When you think about my hour has not yet come. You see, there was a connection there that was shared between a mother and child. And in this beautiful, beautiful story, remember in the first miracle that involves the beloved mother of Lord Jesus Christ, Mary, 
Mary knew. Mary knew what her beloved son, Lord Jesus Christ, was talking about. Amen? And once again, you could just see Mary and Jesus looking at each other. Unfortunately, in my, unfortunately in my past life, it's, my, it's all dead and gone. But a lot of the looks I gave my mom was the old dead self, right? But I thank Lord Jesus Christ that I could serve. I'd be his servant, amen? Blessing Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And this time, right now, at this moment, to encourage all of God's beloved daughters. There's power in your words, in your prayer, in your encouragement, amen? And you look at Mary looking at Lord Jesus, and this is what she had to say. She turned to the servants, the word of God says, and she says, whatever he saith unto you, do it. And isn't that beautiful of a beloved daughter of God, a beloved child of God, that here is mom. Mom hears all the, right? Come on, moms. Bless God, amen? You hear all the excuses. You put up with all, you put up with all the excuses. You put up with all the laziness, right? You put up with all these things. You hear all of it. You see it. You see it all, right? Moms know everything because Holy Spirit give them a fresh anointing, Amen? Beloved daughters of God, you have a fresh anointing from God. Amen? You do. Hallelujah. You're gifted and anointed in ways that we can't even comprehend or understand. Hallelujah. Just say it with me. I am. Amen? I am. That's our God now. And don't you love it that she hears all these things that Lord Jesus Christ said, but they're talking about the same thing. Hallelujah. They're talking about salvation, hope that only comes through the Holy One. Hallelujah, the perfect one. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And here's, here's his mom. She hears him. Hallelujah. And I believe with all my heart, they have a relationship supernatural. Praise God. I, I, I believe it with all my heart. But she hears everything, hallelujah, that the word of God is speaking. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Be unto me according to thy word. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you. We lift up your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, church. And then she's looking. You could just picture this. She's looking at Lord Jesus saying, I heard you. I heard you. Romans 10, 17, right? Faith comes by hearing. Amen. Hearing through the word of God. Hallelujah. Who's the word of God? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. And here is Mother Mary looking at her beloved son, Lord Jesus Christ. And she looks at the servants. Hallelujah. <laughs> she looks at the servants and says, all right, whatever he says... Whatever he says, do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's just give God praise. Amen. What God is speaking right now is the anointing power that we have on the inside. Hallelujah. It only comes through the living word of God, the Holy One, the perfect Lamb of God. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is saying, speak God's word. Amen. Speak healing. Hallelujah. Speak provision. Hallelujah. Speak. Speak. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Speak in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May your word to me be fulfilled. Don't you love those moments when you think about those times of their interaction between a mother and a son or a mother and a daughter? Hallelujah. It's amazing when you think about moments like this. Because even in the point of chaos, you know, misplacing, I guess the correct way to say it, misplacing Lord Jesus Christ at the age of 12 in the temple and going, where is he, right? To the point of this chaos where you know the word is going to be fulfilled. This is how much God loves us.
In Luke 1, verse 37, it says, For no word from God will ever fail. Amen. And on this glorious Mother's Day, we shared as far as with what a servant would say unto God the Father, I am your servant, be unto me according to thy word. Amen. And glory to God, what a way to conclude this Mother's Day service is that God does not lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have the anointing of that word living in every one of us as his beloved children. Amen. With all of my heart, I say happy Mother's Day. Praise God. And I pray that this message has blessed you beyond comprehension. Amen. I just want to say once again, thank you to all of our moms. To all of our sisters, this comes straight from Open Arms Community Church. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. I pray in Jesus' name that this is the greatest Mother's Day yet. Hallelujah. And I thank God for you. Now remember, despite what you're going through, what has happened in the past, hallelujah, Holy Spirit has anointed you with a fresh anointing from heaven. And that is, that is, to just call upon the Father. Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the name of Holy Spirit to say, Father, be unto me according to thy word. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. God is head over heels in love with you. Amen. He is the only one good. Praise God. Amen. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Glory to God just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I just want to make you all aware that, yes, this was our special Mother's Day worship service, but we also have another Sunday morning message. Amen. Because Holy Spirit said so. And we just have to be obedient. Can you say that with me? Be obedient. Amen. We just want to bless Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And lift his, he lift his holy name up on high. Amen. I love you so much. I miss you, family. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're in this new season. Praise God. And we're just so excited. Hallelujah. We never want to rob any worship from our Heavenly Father. So remember, if you have an offering to give, please go to oacchurch.com. You hear me say it all the time, but I'm just held accountable. Amen. You got seed to sow. Hallelujah. Give with a cheerful heart. Amen. Amen. Not, not like that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give with a cheerful heart. And you could give there at oacchurch.com slash offering. And you can give electronically and it's securely, praise God. And also, we got permission from Sister Chrissy, praise God, that she will take whatever offering you mail to her house and make sure that it gets safely to the bank so everything's secure. And that address is going to come up on the screen too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved church family, it's a new season. As you can feel, there's a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. The time is coming. The trumpet's going to go off. Amen. And we're going to be reunited with all of our loved ones. Praise God. In the glory and the perfection of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't wait. Can you? Hallelujah. It might be in the next half an hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. So please, once again, if you have time, join us for the service that's going to take place after this worship service, praise God, um, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out of this suit. Hallelujah! Um, but Holy Spirit said to wear it. Praise God to bless all His beloved daughters on this Mother's Day. Amen. Hallelujah! Once again, love you guys so so much. Thank you so much for being a blessing unto the Lord, and thank you so much for just allowing Holy Spirit to be a blessing to others. Amen. Love you. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Hallelujah. Mwah. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs>